Alright, magandang magandang umaga, magandang hapon, or magandang tanga. Hindi natin alam kung anong oras dyan sa inyo, but of course, we'd like to greet you. Uh, magandang araw mga ka-TGFI for joining us once again here in TGFI Live. It's a um, fruitful second quarter of the year, no? Okay. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys are been doing good in terms of your savings or your investments. Lalo na yung katabi ko nung ngayon, tuwang-tuwa because nag-increase na naman <laughs> ang presyo ng ating uh, pag-uusapang topic today, no? Okay. So, um, of course, um, kasi the reason why we ask for the help of um, our guest speaker for today is because a lot of people are asking, Floyd, ano ba yung Bitcoin? Ano right. ba yung cryptocurrency? How can I make money? Kasi dahil ko na rin yung scam daw yung Bitcoin, hindi naman daw scam. Ang gulo-gulo, I just don't know how to start. No? So, we call the attention of our friends from Musegan Training Academy. They're also the people behind um, in, um, income, income Builders Empire. Empire no? So, we call the help from Mr. Jonathan Tinoco. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, uh, Floyd, for inviting us yeah. here. So, sa mga ka-TGFI, uh, magandang araw, umaga, I don't know, I don't time din sa inyo. <laughs> so, magandang uh, araw sa inyo lahat dyan. Yan. Well, right. Jonathan, yeah. interesting yung topic natin. Of okay. course, to our friends watching us right now. No? So, kasi I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, um, yun nga, ay, paano ba talaga gumagana yung Bitcoin cryptocurrency? Okay. Paano ba ako magkakaroon ng uh, legit money from there? Is it a form of investment? Uh, may narinig ako, pwede daw i-trade. Ano okay. daw yung ICO? Ang daming terminology. So, okay. At the same time, mga cryptocurrency uh, process na medyo... Um, if I'm a newbie, okay. nagsisimula pa lang ako, I get to be interested in, in crypto, in Bitcoin. Parang may hirapan ako to understand it. Okay. Okay? So we ask your help so that we can also um, educate our viewers from for today's episode. So again, mga ka TGFI, kung kayo po ay may mga katanungan, questions, concerns, uh, please key in all of your questions in our comment section. Right. Yes, yun, comment section natin. And of course, our friends here will help you answer that one by one. Okay, so hintayin nyo na lang po. So of course, ang una kong question, Jonathan, ano bang Bitcoin? Ano bang cryptocurrency? Anong difference ang dalawa? Alright, sige. So uh, first of all, in fact, that's the uh, reason why I'm here. To, mm -hmm. to enlighten you guys and of mm -hmm. course to share with you my experience then uh, in this industry. Okay. Alright. Now, uh, let's talk about muna syempre yung Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Kasi maraming mga Filipino yung naguguluhan. What's, the, what's really the difference right. oh. between Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? Alright. Now, uh, Bitcoin is actually a type of, a form of cryptocurrency. Okay, mm -hmm. cryptocurrency is... Uh, na may akong ginamit na technique or sabihin natin algorithm or, or code okay. na ang ibig sabihin is cryptography okay. para ma-secure yung transactions hindi pwede mapeke yung Bitcoin itself okay. kasi like, i-compare natin siya with fiat currency if someone wants to create fake money they can actually do that, mm -hmm. right? but in cryptocurrency, since it's uh, encrypted it's secured using cryptography hindi siya pwedeng magawa ng kahit na sino lang okay. alright? so, okay. and in addition with that Bitcoin is actually a currency Mm -hmm. An online money, an internet money, where you can use if you want to, let's say, you want to book your flights, Yun. hotels, gusto mong bumili ng uh, anything about so, uh, online, na. You, pwede. You can use already. Marami nang gumagamit ngayon. In fact, you can also use Bitcoin to pay your bills. Okay. Alright, wow. there's a platform na pwede mo siyang gamitin para mabayaran mo yung bills mo like Meralco, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. PLTT, even SSS, PhilHealth, mm -hmm. at marami pang iba. Mm -hmm. Well, good right. thing that you, yeah. you told me that, no? If you are also... Um, checking our website sa right. ating mga TGFI events, no? Um, you can pay through Bitcoin and oh, yes, yeah. pede Ethereum. In your website? In our website, oh, so great. we allow that, iba. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, so we allow that. So, um, uh, if kung meron kayong mga ganong cryptocurrencies right. and you want to join our events, pede na nilang gamitin yun. Ah, TGFI good. website. Now, that's also good. You know why? Because uh, I, I'm sure most of you guys are not only using peso pa mm -hmm. Some of you are uh -huh. using credit cards or debit cards. Or FW, no? Or Ws, tama. What's good in using cryptocurrency kasi is if you want to pay someone That's or a right. company or you That's want to right. buy a product, instantly, pwede mo isend yung pera. Unlike, syempre, let's say, for example, the, the, the person is in abroad. Mm -hmm. Gusto niya may bilhin siyang product dito sa Pilipinas. Of course, it's either magpapadala siya ng pera from that country do sa relative niya dito, or he or she can pay using credit cards, That's or right. using Bitcoin if that merchant 
is accepting Bitcoin, instantly pwede niyang ipambayad yung Bitcoin dun sa kumpanya or sa pinagbibilan niya. Oh, interesting. So, pwede so, mo na talagang ipang-remit yung Bitcoin. And yes. Faster yung transaction, kumbaga, transaction time. Now, uh, you're talking about pa, faster transaction kasi before, the problem with Bitcoin, especially yung tumataas na yung difficulties, That's sabi right. nag-load yung server, That's right. alright? nagiging mabagal yung transactions at saka mataas yung fee. Mm-hmm. But what's good right now because we have what we call the Lightning Network. Okay. It makes more, or the, the, the network makes more simple, mabilis. Yung transaction sobrang bilis niya if you want to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another wallet, instantly you can receive that wow. Bitcoin sa wallet Ma- niya. As in matter of one second, gando na? Not really one second, sometimes eh. minutes, uh, five minutes, ten minutes, okay. depende sa blockchain. Well, not, not right. bad ha? kasi yung mga traditional remittance companies, takes them one one day one working day I agree and it, kumbaga kung ako yung maghihintay ng pera uh, maghihintay talaga ako ng ilang araw bago ko makuha in fact we had this uh, new client mm-hmm. um kanya concern meron silang scoop hindi ko na lang siguro sasabihin okay. yung pangalan ng scoop okay. but uh, one of his uh, major problem was yung mga estudyante kasi nila most are Indians mm-hmm. so when w- once uh, nag receive siya ng pera from India to to their account or I don't know how they're receiving that takes them almost 60 days. Okay. So, matagal, right? And of course, syempre, money should circulate immediately. That's right. That's right. So, if you need the money, hindi mo agad ma receive mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. if you're using Bitcoin, instantly, within a day, okay. ito, matagal lang yung buong araw eh. Uh-huh. Just a, a matter of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, maybe maximum 40, uh, 40 minutes, you can instantly receive your Bitcoin wow. and convert it to peso para magamit mo na siya as as um, convert mo na siya into peso para magamit mo na siya basically. Wow, interesting. So yan yung kumbaga nagagawa ng technology ngayon. Exactly. You can already receive money in just a matter right. of seconds, no? Of course, with the help of uh, the technology of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency itself. So, I always hear this term desan- decentralization. Um, right. how does it apply in cryptocurrency industry, Bitcoin per se? Okay, so, good. That's a good question, mm-hmm. Floyd. No? All right. Pag-usapan natin tinatawag na decentralization at centralization, mm-hmm. right? Let's mm-hmm. talk about first yung tinatawag nating fiat currency. Okay. All right, bago tayo pumunta sa Bitcoin. Noong unang panahon kasi, sa totoo lang, wala naman tayong pera. Okay. Maybe before, we're using what we call barter exchange. Oh, di ba? Right? So, if you want barter. to buy something, mm. wala ka naman pang bayad. Let's say, you want to buy a kilo of chicken. Yes. Pwede ko yung gamitin or pwede kong bayaran yun ng isang kilo baboy. Tama? Oh, oh. Then eventually, nag-evolve yung ating mga ancestors. Dumating yung time, gumamit ng tayo ng mga ginto. Mm. Bariya, coins. I mean, coins. Yes. Alright? Oh. Then eventually, nagkaroon na tayo ng fiat currency no, or paper, paper bills. Okay, Now, yung okay. paper money kasi, the problem with paper money, number one, is control. Okay. If banks or governments want to print more money, okay. they can print that money immediately. Okay. Which makes it, sabi natin, punto inflation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Para mas maitindihan ng mga kababayan natin, Filipino, what's inflation? It's, okay. Let's say you have 1,000 peso. Alright? So, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I'm sure yung 1,000 peso natin that time, iba yung value. Okay. Iba? Mas mataas. Pero right now, if you have 1,000 peso, baka ulang pa pandate yun, tama? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, so talagang yeah. ngayon sa panahon natin, hindi ka na pwede makabay na sobrang daming bilhin using your 1,000 peso compared dun sa, uh, compared 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm, Alright? Mm-hmm. Because, number one, uh, 1971 kasi si President Nixon took off gold standard. Okay. Which means, anyone, governments cannot print paper bills na hindi siya binabaka pa ng gold. That's right. So, anong effect ngayon? So, mas maraming paper bills, supply and demand, or law of supply and demand, the more paper bills we have, ibig sabihin, mas mataas ang supply, mas mababa yung value. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Alright? Mm-hmm. Now, ibig sabihin, the money becomes centralized. May nagko-control, may nagmamanipulate. Oh, oh, Alright? Oh. Now, in cryptocurrency, just to give you a short background, it started in 2009. Okay. In fact, that was a year after the the, the, the global crash, 2007-2008. Mm-hmm. And on time din na yun, yun yung nagsara yung bank ko sa US, which is Lehman Brothers. So, Fourth largest yeah. bank. Mm-hmm. So, 2009, when Satoshi Nakamoto proposed Bitcoin sa public, okay. which is his only a pseudonym, okay. kasi wala naman talaga nakakalam sino si Satoshi uh-huh. Nakamoto. Baka yung camera man natin kilala. Ay, you might know. All right. <laughs> All right. So, noong 2009, when Satoshi Nakamoto proposed Bitcoin sa public, at ginamit to ng public eventually, they found out that Bitcoin has a maximum supply of 21 million. Oh. Alright, that's how it was created. Okay. Now, it becomes decentralized kasi walang particular na tao nagko-control. Mm-hmm. All of us, mm-hmm. all the those public. people who's holding Bitcoin, alright, who verifies the transaction, which is the blockchain technology, mm-hmm. alright, 
Dahil wala nagko-control sa Bitcoin, wala nagmamanipulate ng Bitcoin, ibig sabihin yung price nito hindi rin controlled or manipulated mm-hmm. ng banko okay. at ng gobyerno. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, if I want really to transfer my money from from here, going to abroad, pwede kong gawin yun. Mm-hmm. Pero if I want to transfer, let's say, fiat currency from my local mm-hmm. banks to international mm-hmm. banks, they will require a lot of documentation. Yes. And they will tell you it's for AMLA reason. Okay. Daming right? regular regulatory requirements. So. Exactly. Okay. Wow. So may konting historical ano pa kayo facts that you need to uh, know, no? So I guess if they right. want to know more about um, this this kind of concept, I'm also uh, recommending to you guys to watch the YouTube uh, videos yeah. of Mike Maloney. Diba? All right. Diba? Ma- uh, Mike Maloney. Yeah. Yes. You you will learn a lot from that concept. Yung um bakit gumagamit ng fiat currency ang US and of course the whole world and um how does it say na bakit it's a fake money thing like right, right, so right. Kasi sa banggit mo full yung fake money in fact uh, Robert Kiyosaki okay. right? he he launched this video na yung yung book niya kasi na launch niya titled fake okay. when he talks about also the new money or the people's money called cryptocurrency mm-hmm. well Robert Kiyosaki is not really a technical guy or okay. sabihin natin more into uh, the innovate and uh, innovations right because mm-hmm. he's a traditional business mm-hmm. guy yeah, yeah, yeah. so when he talks about bitcoin of course there's a lot of people na syempre naniniwala rin sa kanya of course there are some people who don't believe him that's when right. it comes to to that uh, idea that's right but sa totoo lang kasi uh, once you understand the future the value the benefits of cryptocurrency mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you free yourself from from slavery mm-hmm. financial mm-hmm. slavery because why most people poor is because we're being controlled That's right. okay. by the governments, banks, and society. Okay. But uh, using cryptocurrency, it frees uh, free people to become financially free. Mm-hmm. That's how. Uh, that's the power of cryptocurrency. Because of the idea na highly visible yung transactions na nangyari. It's open public and it's okay. it's because created siya using blockchain technology. By the way, blockchain technology mm-hmm. para dun sa mga uh, yes, Filipino so, natin or kababayan natin na ngayon. Black, no? Blockchain Black technology DYC. is just a simple a public ledger, an okay. open public ledger. Okay. Where you can see all the transactions of Bitcoin simula ng unang or 2009 at to present. Actually, nahirapan nga kami kasi sabi namin, in fact, one of my partners or my partner sabi namin, pag ginawa ba natin Tagalog yung content natin, matatagalog din ba natin ng blockchain <laughs> at Bitcoin? So, medyo nahirapan kami. So, blockchain simply means na Let's say nag-transact tayong dalawang employee, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. I send Bitcoin from uh, my mobile okay. to your mobile. Okay. All right. So yung system o yung transaction na yon papasok siya sa tinatawag na blocks. Okay. All right. And yung block na yon dudugsong siya dun sa previous latest chain. Okay. And no one can change that. So ibig sabihin simultaneous whatever is happening right now po may nagtatransact, dumidikit na siya dun sa chain. Okay. okay. So this is how powerful blockchain is. That's why you cannot change it, you can hack it. No one can really uh, change what's happening, mm-hmm. yeah, what had happened in the past. Mm-hmm. That's why yung transaction niya, kahit sino mag-view, you can also check that. It's at click, uh, bitcoin.com for your information. Okay. Oh, di ba? So, you get to have an idea what is blockchain technology. So, ang iba kasi ang, well, for for right. me, it's uh, myself, no? So, if I'm talking about um, the purpose of cryptocurrency, I'm looking always on the future side right. of it. So yung blockchain concept I really like it because um, of course diba, you get to have the you get to have a control of your own money and at the same time hindi siya basta basta manipulate okay but of course may mga right. cases pa rin naman talaga okay. no it's, it always happens may mga sharks din of course that get to manipulate the prices but uh, it's more of a case to case basis but of course the idea of having uh, cryptocurrency and of course blockchain and bitcoin and whatever uh, within that industry no is nga, the concept of decentralization the concept of blockchain sobrang okay yung concept niya especially if you're um kubaga you just a random person um you want to protect your money as well this is also one one good way maraming magagandang ways din naman also not if you have cryptocurrency how to protect your money there's a lot yeah in fact, uh, recently nga, uh, may lumabas na news mm-hmm. and uh, the news was uh, blockchain can also use in political activities okay. like in uh, campaigns. Kaya na, syempre, I doubt they're mm-hmm. gonna use it. Mm-hmm. Uh, alam naman natin, right? Kasi mm-hmm. you can see, see uh, the transparency mm-hmm. behind that. Alright? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to talk more about that. Pero if you use the blockchain technology itself, marami kang pwede paggamitan kasi. Not okay. only in cryptocurrency, you can use that in insurance. You can use that in banks, banking system, financial system, governments, yes. at marami pang iba. That's how powerful it is. 
Kaya marami mga organizations, company, they're now started to use blockchain technology. In fact, uh, Union Bank is uh, one of them. Yes, yeah, so, okay. oh. Yeah, well, I, ako, I highly recommend the uh, actions na ginagawa ng Ay, Union yeah, Bank. Right. Uh, in fact, you can already buy your own uh, Bitcoin. In their, diba, they have a... Bitcoin ATM machine. They have an ATM machine. They launch an ATM machine. Uh, sobrang cool. So, try nyo yun. Alam ko, nasa Ayala yata yung... Pet- ah, the main office, yeah, yes. here. Makati. Diba? Uh, just through the ATM, makakabili ka na ng Bitcoin mo. No? That's cool. Exactly. No? It's something new. Uh, and of course, meron naman ng mga Bitcoin ATM na rin na nag-exist. No? Ngayon. Ah, so, there's a lot. In fact, maraming Bitcoin ATM machines na rin. But of course, uh, my, uh, Filipinos might ask, Eh, Floyd or Jonathan, saan ba kami pwedeng bumili ng Bitcoin? Yes. Oh, Aside from having the Bitcoin good, oh. ATM machine. Alright. Now, sa atin kasi, sa Pilipinas, locally, we have uh, this company called uh, Coins.ph. Yon. So, this okay. is the first one. Now, uh, Coins.ph is actually a remittance, uh, a payment uh, system mm-hmm. where you can pay mm-hmm. your bills. You can also load your mobile phones. Okay. And what's good in using Coins.ph, you can buy and sell Bitcoin using mm-hmm. your uh, Philippine peso. Pwede ka mag-trade. You can also coins. do trading in that, but... Uh, we're not really recommending you use okay. that application. Merong ibang application or exchange that you can do okay. trading, but uh, we we only highly recommend Coins that page for uh, converting your bitcoins from peso and peso converting to bitcoin. Okay. And the second one is we're also using Abra. Okay. All right. Abra. Now the difference between Coins that page and then Abra. First is Coins that page is a local based company. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, Abra is a US based company. Okay. All right. But pero uh, magkaiba yung kanilang features. Mm-hmm. All right? Because Coins.ph aside from having an exchange, sabi ko nga kanina, you can use Coins.ph if you want to pay your bills. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Parang buy and center. Mm-hmm. Pero Abra is only it is purely cryptocurrency buying and selling. Okay. If okay. you want to buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin Abra. Okay. And aside from that, they also launch uh, Bitcoin uh, or sorry, ETF. Okay. Nilagay na rin nila ETF, you can participate in ETF using Abra mm-hmm. You can also participate in stocks using Abra US stocks, yeah US stocks, okay. yeah, exactly okay. So basically those are two exchanges that we're, we're using uh, in order for us to buy and sell Bitcoin okay. in the Philippines Okay, so coins.ph, Abra, ano bang lesser fees sa dalawang to or almost the same lang ba? Ah, okay, no, uh, when it comes to fees, well, let's talk about fees, alright? Kay coins that page kasi if you want to the first thing okay first step yeah. tayo all right if you want to buy bitcoin of course you need to download the wallet okay or you can buy bitcoins without the wallet all right so you download coins that page or abra all right now second step is yung tinatawag na pag uh, verify na KYC okay now what's KYC KYC means know your client mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or know your customer mm-hmm. all right KYC is very important because uh if you use coins that page and you didn't verify your KYC magkakaroon ka lang ng limitations when it comes to uh, cash in or cash okay, out okay. or merong minimum okay. but if you KYC your account of course natas yung limit mo mm-hmm. from 50,000 up to 400,000 on a regular monthly basis or alright okay, okay. now pag nag cash in ka kay, uh, kay, kay coins that page using local bank mm-hmm. like security or union bank mm-hmm. alright uh, they will charge you zero okay but if you use 711, of course, meron charge na yun. Okay. Like around, ayun sa ayun kasi, like previously, for 5,000 pesos, ang additional charge is 160 pesos. Okay. okay. So parang 5,000 plus 160 pesos. Okay. Something like that. Alright? Okay. Now, nagkakaiba na when it comes to tinatawag nating spread. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. buying price is always different from selling price. Okay. Okay. I mean, sa mas malayo or mas masabi natin, malayo yung spread nila or yung margin, like previously or recently, if you want to buy Bitcoin in Coins at Page, it's uh, 300,000. Okay. But if you want to sell it, naglalaro siya ng 260 to 280,000. Okay. That's where the platform earns. Mm-hmm. So, ibig sabihin, mm-hmm. bibili mo siya ng 300. If you want to sell that immediately at that right. time, dugi ka na. Okay. Ang tama ko, ibibenta mo siya right away. Mm-hmm. Alright? Mm-hmm. And normally, kapag nag-cash in ka, let's say, 1,000 pesos muna. Mm-hmm. Alright? Pag kinonvert mo siya to, or from peso wallet to Bitcoin wallet, Hindi na siya 1,000 pesos na mo. Okay. It might be 9,200 or 9,000 pesos. So almost okay. 10%. Okay. Or 6 to 10%. Alright? In Abra naman, the, the difference between pa or ka, from cashing into uh, sa Abra at coins at page, kay Abra, pag nag-cash in ka sa wallet, you are automatically deducted or 2% automatically. Dinideduct nila yon. Mm-hmm. So, marireceive mo sa iyong uh, wallet, sa Abra wallet mo is, kung that's 1,000 pesos, magiging 980 pesos na lang yun. That's right. Oh. 
Alright? And normally, mas murang gamitin si Abra compared kay Coins at Page when it comes to price. Oh. Pero minsan iba-iba din. Minsan okay. mas mahal naman kay Abra, mas mahal naman kay Coins at Page. Okay. So, those are two basic, uh, o sabihin natin, eh, yung mas kilala okay. sa ating ngayon sa Pilipinas. Although, meron din namang iba, because recently, marami nag-submit ng uh, uh, documents or ng, gusto, mga, ano, gusto kumuha na license kay Banko Central recently. So, mm -hmm. let's see. It's going to happen like a year from now, two years from okay. now. Okay. But ang good thing, um, company like Coins at Base, Page, I uh, already recognized by BSP. Exactly. Okay. They already have the license. Okay. All right. As a uh, Bitcoin exchange or cryptocurrency exchange, tama ba yun? No, the name. company name is uh, Bitpour Inc. Okay. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I, I guess that's uh, if that's not a remittance, it's a buy and buy payment system. Okay. okay. All right. So sorry for that. I, I need to, to make my research mo muna on that one. But okay. it's not an, a crypto exchange or Bitcoin exchange where okay. you can buy Bitcoin. That's okay. not the purpose of the business. So more right. of... Um, it might be a remittance or payment remittance. system. Okay. All right. Okay. Understand. Gets, gets. Okay. Sige. Jonathan, let's go yeah. on um, the investing part or the making of money part. Ay, nang gusto ng mga yeah. Filipino, oh. right? Okay. So may Bitcoin na ako. Nakabili na ako sa coin, okay. sa Abra. Now, um... Well, first of what are the ways to make money sa cryptocurrency? Right. In fact, there's a lot of ways on how you can really earn through cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Alright. Number one, of course, yung tinatawag natin cryptocurrency investing or investing in cryptocurrency. Okay. Now, investing uh, investing means, like, let's say, you buy Bitcoin. Like, nung December nga, kagaya nung pinag-uusapan mm -hmm. namin kanina. Mm -hmm. Nung December kasi, 2018, alright? The price of Bitcoin per Bitcoin is only around 160,000 to 180,000 mm -hmm. pesos kada isa. Then, itong June, umakit yung price ng almost $14,000 or from $600,000 to $700,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? All right? Now, for most people, they think that's investment. Mm -hmm. Why? Kasi kung bumili ka ng 1 Bitcoin from December to June, yes. you've earned, ang profit mo, that's more than 300%. Oy, not bad. Percent. That's really bad. That's really great. <laughs> Lucky nun. Oh, and I, I don't know if there's some investment vehicles that you could that could give you that kind of return mm -hmm. in, in a short period of time for six months. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that's that's one way. All right. In fact, uh, we're actually sharing the, uh, this strategy mm -hmm. during our seminars. It's what we call the cost averaging or Bitcoin cost averaging. Okay. What does it mean? Now, ibig sabihin, on a monthly basis, whatever the price of Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin. Because most Filipino will ask, if Floyd and Jonathan, ang mahal ng Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Magkana? 300,000, 500,000, mm -hmm. 600,000. Wala akong ganun pera. Hindi ko uh -huh. ayaw bumili ng ganun kalate. But did you know that you can actually buy Bitcoin even at 50 Five pesos, stars. 100 pesos, 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos. Okay. okay. Of course, that's, uh, that's 5,000, 1,000 pesos. Hindi one bit pay mo. Uh, okay. or this, there's what we call SAT or Satoshi. In Satoshi. decimal form, okay. na pwede mo receive na lang 0.01, okay. 0 0.05 BTC or Bitcoin, 0 0.10 Bitcoin. Okay. At least right? may hawa ka, di ba? You're holding a Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, if you do that strategy, let's say, for example, yung isang research ko way back then, from 2013. Ako kasi mayroon ako insurance. Okay. I get that idea from an insurance company. Okay. Uh, meron ako yung nuhulugan, I, I put 500, 2,500 pesos per month. Okay. Yung isa ko may 5,000, yung iba may mas malaki pa. Okay. Now, let's Maybe say na lang. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say from 2013. Okay. Alright? You've invested 2,500 pesos. Okay. So, bumili ka ng Bitcoin. That's right. Okay. Hindi mo nilagay sa banko or other investment vehicles. Bitcoin lang. You okay. convert that to Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So from 2013, I'm talking about from 2013, which is five, six years ago, right? Okay. okay. Yes. So from 2,500, if you're going to add that in one year, that's 30,000. Mm -hmm. Tama? Mm -hmm. So kasi 2,000 times, so 30,000. Yes. So in five years, you've invested a total of 150,000 pesos. Okay. Sabi natin, from 2013 to 2017. Okay. In fact, if, if you go to my Facebook page, and yung report na yan. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, imagine, 2,500 lang yung nilabas mo on okay. a monthly basis. Okay. Alright? Hindi mo ito nilagay sa banko, hindi mo ito nilagay sa ibang investment okay. vehicles. Now, in 5 years, did you know that you've accumulated a total of almost 15.9 or 16 bitcoins? No. Oh, wow. In 5 years. And on 2017, last quarter, December to January, did you know guys ng Bitcoin umabot ng 1 million pesos kada isa? Oh, wow. That's really huge. Mm -hmm. Tama? Mm -hmm. So, sabihin na natin, yung 15 bitcoins mo, 
In fact, in January 1, umabot na siya ng 700,000 bumaba. Mm-hmm. Alright. That's a total of, if you want to sell that Bitcoins na naipon mo, na kinos average mo in 5 years, that's almost 11 million pesos. Wow. In 5 years. Okay. That is, that's how powerful it was average in investing to Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Okay. But of course, syempre, they, they might say, eh, paano yan kung di mo nabenta nung time na yun? Oh. Nabenta mo yan during the market. I'm sure if you do the cost average in since kahit pa 2015, bawi ka pa rin. Because 2015, when I entered cryptocurrency, the price of Bitcoin that time is only 10,000 to 15,000 pesos. Mm-hmm. So, ang layo niya dun sa 100,000, 180,000 pesos. So, some say, eh, paano ko nabayin namin siya ng 1 million? Mm-hmm. Ayun lang. So, yun nga yung problema. Oh. If you bought that during the 1 million, maybe na-hype ka oh. or you entered the industry, Without really searching, doing your research, na tingin mo, baka nakwento sa'yo ng kamag-anak mo, kaibigan mo na, uy, para, invest tayo sa crypto kasi ikita tayo ng malaki. Yes. So those are some of the ideas na alam na mga Filipino, kaya di ba, yeah. previous yung dami na scam. Oo. Well, so, actually, Jonathan, in, if you were also investing in the stock market, right. no, may ganyan din na practice. Right. No? So we have this saying, when people are ready, or the masses are ready, talking about a specific investment, it's about time that you should at least get out right. already. Kasi nga, it, it is becoming popular. Nagiging sikat na siya. Na sobrang sikat niya. The, kumbaga, those who have uh, a good position on that specific stock, for example, sila na yung nagsisell because alam niya popular eh. Aangat yung presyo. Warren Buffett principle, right? Yes. When people are greedy, be yeah. fearful. Yes. When people are fearful, be greedy. Yun. Right. So enough then that you, they should also do their research. no? But of course, kasi ang sabi ni Jonathan, that's, what the historical performance na nangyari sa Bitcoin. Sa Bitcoin. Exactly. So, again, mayroon ding mga, marami rin tayong mga kakilala na naipip. So, kung kayo ay pumasok in a wrong time, of course, ano yung next option nila? O sige, bumili ako sa sa 1 million pesos worth. Kasi nga, sikat na sikat eh. Narinig ko yung Bitcoin. Sabi ng kapitbahay namin, okay na yung Bitcoin. Hindi yan bababa forever, whatever. Mga ganyan. Anong gagawin ko ngayon? Ang position ng Bitcoin ko, nasa range ng 1 million or at least or close to that. Okay, sige. Now, let's proceed to that idea mm-hmm. and that question concern. Mm-hmm. Now, in reality, hindi lagi yung pataas ang cryptocurrency just mm-hmm. like any other market. Yes. Stock market or, or forex mm-hmm. and other mm-hmm. different investment vehicles. May time na tumataas, kumababa yung yes. price ng isang commodity or sabi natin, particularly cryptocurrency which That's is Bitcoin. Right. Now, if you bought that during its peak, Mm-hmm. When it was uh, one, 1 million pesos. Mm-hmm. Now, alam naman natin, Bitcoin has a limited number of supply. That's right. That's only 21 million maximum supply. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright? Eh sir, ibig sabihin kung bumili ako noong 2018 at binenta ko siya ng palugi or mm-hmm. say, binenta ko siya ng 500,000, lugi na agad ako. Mm-hmm. The answer is yes. Oh. Kasi binili mo na malaki or na mataas, <laughs> binenta mo na mura, you, you literally buy it high and sell it low. So because of emotions? Like Emotion. Or... Tama. Now, your only option, the second option that you can do is pwede mo tong i-hold for, very long, uh, for, for long term. Alright? Because we personally believe that Bitcoin could really perform well in the future. Ngayon kasi hindi pa talaga siya masyadong kilala ng maraming tao. Oh. There are still people who don't really want Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. So, uh, that's why we don't really... Uh, sab- even though we're talking about cryptocurrency and even though sinasabi namin na maganda yung performance nito, we don't suggest or recommend that you start it immediately. Hindi ganun to. Yes. All right. You need first to understand how it works. Second, ano yung technicalities? Ano yung mga basics na dapat mo muna malaman? Like creating uh, creating your wallet, creating an account. Saan ba dapat mo ilagay dito? How are you gonna protect your fund? All right? Now, going back to your concern, paano ko naipit ka? Oh, Tama? Mm. Paano ko maka-recover? No, third way. All right? Uh, basically, it's not only, or Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency in the market. Yun. May iba pa pala. There's a lot of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is the only or the first cryptocurrency na lumabas on 2009. Okay. But right after that, marami na rin lumabas. Like for example, Ethereum, Yun. Ripple, Dash, Monero, at marami pang iba. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, sabihin natin, you have a position in Bitcoin. Of course, merong ibang mga cryptocurrencies na nagpe-perform naman din na maganda. Mm-hmm. Tama? Yes. So you can participate on those currencies or you can buy some uh, of these other currencies. Para yung loss mo dito, you can actually recover here. So may concept of diversification. Diversification. Okay. Alright? 
But dahil, uh, alam naman natin, all of these cryptocurrencies, walang guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Kung mm-hmm. tataas ba to in the future, or magkano ba yung tataas right. in the future, right. baba ba ba to? Kailan ba to baba ba? Well, there are technical or technical ways on how to do that. Pero fundamentally, no one knows exactly. Kailan ba to tataas? Kailan ba to baba ba? That's why we don't recommend and suggest to, to you guys na porket magandang crypto, pasok ka na yes, so... Kasi yung ginawa ng iba, let's say you have 1 million peso, nakita nila yung potensya ng cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. Nilagay nila lahat sa Bitcoin. Tama, yes. They bought the, the, a Bitcoin using their 1 million peso fund. Yun. Ang problema is this, paano pag time or yung time na pagbili mo right after that, a month after that, bumagsak yung presyo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If that's your last resource, Yun. Paano ka ulit bibili sa kasunod kapag bumagsak yung market? Okay. So part of what we're teaching to our students in our academy is this 90-10 rule. Yes. I will think ko is 90-10 rule. 90-10, 90-10 rule means if you're allocated fund to engage in the market, to engage in cryptocurrency, to invest in crypto, we don't suggest na lahat yung gamitin mo. Mm-hmm. You start using 10% na muna. Again, not all your funds. Let's say, ang pera mo sa banko, meron kang 1 million. Okay. Alright? Of course, di mo gagamitin lahat yung para ipasok oh, sa crypto. Oh. You only get portion like 50,000, okay. 20,000, or maximum siguro 100,000, depending sa'yo. Mm-hmm. But, once you set your your uh, allocated fund na ipapasok mo sa crypto, hindi mo agad lahat gagamitin yung para ibili ng crypto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can do cost average. You can cost average Bitcoin. Okay. Alright, where? Portion lang muna nun. Let's say this okay. month. Alright? 10% na muna. Next month, 10% na muna. Okay. The following month, 10% na muna. Or, every time na bababa yung market, you always position 10% okay. para makabili sa market. So, it doesn't mean na sobrang tututukan nila yung galaw ng price ng Bitcoin, but more of at least aware sila sa nangyayari sa presyo lang. Exactly. That's actually, that will lead to my second way of earning. Mm-hmm. It's actually cryptocurrency trading. Okay. All right, cryptocurrency trading means uh, ito na yung time na kung sa you're not really investing in crypto. Trading mm-hmm. is different from investing. Because mm-hmm. trading, binabantayan mo na yung market, kailan to tataas, kailan yes. to bababa. Yes. And there are some ways. Technically and fundamentally, paano to napepredict kailan ba to tataas or bababa. Right. Now, we're using also some platforms na kung saan we can, uh, uh, we can long our position in Bitcoin, we can short our position in Bitcoin. Now, what's good on that, siguro on July 27, ko na yun. lang i-share yun. All right. Okay. Whether the price of Bitcoin is uptrend or downtrend, kung tumas man si Bitcoin or bumababa si Bitcoin, both ways you're earning or you can okay. earn. Okay. Because you're trading. You're trading. Okay. Or but the second course, way. The the good um the better kumbaga move na kailangan nilang gawin is they should also understand how does cryptocurrency trading Of works. course. Yeah. So kailangan wag muna tayong ano kagad pasok lang pasok. So what Jonathan is saying of course our uh, here in TJ5 what we are telling you Bago mo pasukan ng any type of investment instrument or any markets na tingin mo may potensya na lumaki yung iyong pera, you have to understand it first, no? Exactly. Aralin mo muna. Sabi nga ni Aya Laraya, aral muna bago mag-invest. Right. So, you should know all of this stuff. Kasi dapat basic yan, eh, no? So, you don't invest because of sikat lang siya. Exactly. A friend told you. Ang daming, ang daming nasa scam na ganyan. Especially when Bitcoin was trading at 1, uh, 1 million pesos, Bigla naglabasan yung mga scams. Exactly. Sama, diba? So, yung mga hype, hype companies wherein they use actually Bitcoin or cryptocurrency mm-hmm. to encourage people na mag-engage dun sa mga companies na to. Yun. So, kung baga sinabayan nila yung Bitcoin, they offered investments and they're telling to people that we're trading, we're using cryptocurrency, pero in reality, hindi naman pala. Hindi naman pala. Alright. So, yung ginamit na nila yung crypto. Just yes. like other uh, investment vehicles or ventures, di ba? Sa agriculture, yes. ganun din. Oo. Pag sumisika talaga. Oh. Exactly. Agree. So, they should um, know first ano yung pinapasok nila bago nila ilagay yung pera nila. Of course, pag nandiyan na yan at natalo na yan, it's also, of course, it's your responsibility. No? So, ang trabaho natin uh, as, as, as educators is to remind you guys na, of course, aralin mo muna, understand first the market. So, Jonathan, yeah. um, just to add up, ICOs. Uh, we always hear this. I'm sure yung mga ka-TGFI natin na nanonood. Ano ba yung ICOs? Okay, good question. How does it work? Alright. So, let's talk about ICO naman ngayon. Mm-hmm. Alright? 2015, 2016, 2017. Mm-hmm. Yun yung time na, uh, dun yung time na pumasok yung tinatawag na mga ICO boom. Okay. Alright? ICO means initial coin offering. Mm-hmm. Just like in stocks. Alright? Stock offering. Tama? Mm-hmm. Alright. Sa so crypto, meron din. Where, let's say ako, meron akong company and may companies, let's say, uh, I'm an IT company na okay. ito yung mga services ko. Okay. At nag-rate ako ng token, 
that only means I need funds. Okay. So these companies are using cryptocurrency through an ICO program para makapag-gather, makapag-crowdfunding ng fund. Mm -hmm. So they can use that in the project. Okay. Kaya lang, ito yung problema. Eh, dahil hindi pa regulated ang ICO that time, so maraming companies, maraming mga individuals, okay, sinabayan so, nila yung hype ng ICO, they created a company, they opened that, they market it properly, effectively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Siyempre, maraming tao na pasok. Ang di nila alam, scam pala yung company. Ayaw. It doesn't really exist. Okay. Meron pa nga. Merong isang company that time, ang uh, ginawa niya, kasi sa website, normally, makikita mo rin yung mga tao behind that. Okay. Ang ginawa na itong company na ito, I'm going to mention on the company. Sa Twitter, yung mga mukha ng mga professional na Japanese, dinikit niya isa-isa doon. Hmm. Pinilitan niya lang ng pangalan para magmukhang maganda yung website. Hmm. And he offers an investment to the public that na pang invest ka dito, this will be the potential return after a month, after after a year. So eventually, dahil syempre, you can transfer Bitcoin immediately kasi you cannot participate to that ICO with that cryptocurrency. So once you transfer your currency or your Bitcoin to that company, wala na. Oh, wala na. Hawak na nila. Hawak na nila. Tama? Ano na nangyari dito sa ICO na yun? Ah, maraming company. Like, like them, wala na. Of course, sarado wala na. na. Oh. Then, not only them, maraming ICO din naman yung talaga nagsara na. Mm -hmm. Pero marami rin naman yung talaga until lang. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Okay. Alright? And ICO is good. If only used correctly, properly. Kaya lang syempre, like what we always recommend to you guys, suggest to you guys, do your own research. Okay. Hindi porket maganda yung platform o yung program ng isang company, papasok ka na. Yes. Tama? Kasi again, we're, we're actually speculating. Yeah. Hindi naman guaranteed na when you buy that particular ICO after a year, six months, that's, that's the price. That's right. Just like Bitcoin, no one knows. Naaabot yung Bitcoin ng ganun kalagi. Just that lumaki yung demand. Okay. Exactly. Lumaki yung demand. Exactly. So again, do your research pagpapasok ko sa mga ICO. Pero what's good right now? Sorry. Can I... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So there are things like uh oh, sige, sige. Continue muna para All right, sige. Now, right now, what we call or meron na tayong tinatawag ng mga initial exchange offering. Okay. Or exchange offerings ng mga tokens. Okay, okay. Ah, Ang maganda yeah, dito yeah. ito. I don't know if you've heard that Floyd, pero what's good in uh, IEOs? Okay. Yung mga companies right now, let's say Kung, okay, have you heard Binance? Yes, right? oh, ay, ay, ay. Uh, Binance, okay. Binance one is one of the well-known, yeah. mas kilala, mas mataas ang volume, mas yeah. mataas ang market when it comes to uh, as exchange. They had what this called feature called initial exchange offering, mm -hmm. alright? Mm -hmm. Wherein, if ako, yung company, gusto ko mag-launch ng token ko, okay. I can launch that, I can actually promote that using the platform. Alright? So ngayon, si Binance, meron niyang qualifications, may mga okay. requirements yan. Hindi yan basa-basa magpapapasok ng mga companies, then they will promote it without really verifying, searching, what's this company all about. Hindi okay. sila basa-basa pwede magpapasok ng okay. mga companies. Hanggang din nila ginagawa yung kanilang research. It also gives them the credibility na yung tao gamitin yung platform itself, which is Binance. That's right. So syempre, if you're the company, if you want to launch your token, That's right. if you use Binance, hindi rin libre. Mayroon din bayad yun. Of mm. course, you're not gonna spend too much money or big amount of money if the project that you are launching is not really a good and long-term project. Tama? So that's what's uh, good right now. In fact, there's this recent cryptocurrency named uh, BitTorrent. Okay. It's under Tron. Alright? Okay. Now, yung BitTorrent, one of the success successful uh, initial exchange offering na nilaunch sa market. Now, eventually, dadami rin naman ito. Tama? Okay. But again, not only because someone told you that's good, pas pa na agad. Again, search how it works. Who are who are these companies? How does this company are really working on that particular mm -hmm. token? Mm -hmm. So that's my uh, suggestion and recommendation to all of you guys. So wag lang magpapadala sa white paper. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Again, anyone can create their white oh, paper. Oh. <laughs> Hindi porket maganda yung white paper, of course, di ba? Oh. Those are okay. Some of them are just um, promises. Yes. This is what we're going to do after a month, after two months, mm -hmm. after six months. This is our role. We call them roadmaps. Mm -hmm. So that roadmap didn't really, you know, hindi nila nagagawa. Hindi nila talaga nasusunod. So they're just prom promising to the public na, okay, ito yung gagawin natin. Pero not okay. all of them, really. Kinawa nila yung kanilang, kanilang pinarami sa public. Oh, may kakalala akong ganyan eh. Dating publicly listed ng ICO. Alright. Ano, mga... Ano ba ito? Mga agriculture related. Nabulang mo na lang sa akin mamaya. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sure kung nagsasak siya, kilala niyo rin siya. Alright. Ay, wala na yun yung ICO niya. Anyway, so of course, you have to do your research. Okay. Yun lang okay. naman yung pinakapunto niyan. Sige, I have a last question for you, okay. Jonathan. Uh, people are also hearing about Libra. Ah, oh, good. 
Okay. Ito yung Usapan natin. Yes, ito yung cryptocurrency na itatayo na affiliated ng Facebook. All right. So what's your stand with Libra? Okay, sige. In fact, nung sinabi mo na last question na para namang Okay. Bitin ba kayo? Sige. Sige. July 27. Pa, okay. Let's talk about Libra token which mm. is uh, or Facebook token which mm-hmm. is uh, called Libra. All right. Now Libra is Facebook's token. Yeah. So yung kanyang subsidiary is Calibra. Okay. Calibra is a wallet. Okay. okay. Konti bracket muna. All right. When Facebook, which is the owner Mark Zuckerberg hired David Marcus okay. in 2014. Okay. That's the time. By the way, David Marcus is also an advisor of Coinbase and the previous mm. president of PayPal. Oh, All right. Okay. So nung hinayon ni Facebook yeah, si David Marcus. Okay. okay. They started to work on that idea. Okay. Which is cryptocurrency. Kaya pala before nagpapahaging na si Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. okay. Imposible hindi <laughs> niya gamitin yung technology na yan because he's using internet yeah. to expand, explore, or sabihin natin, palakihin yung kanyang negosyo. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the idea. Since 2014, they're already working on something. Yes. And ito lang, recently, 2018, oh, sorry, 2019, doon nalang in-announce the public that they're gonna li- uh, launch Libra by 2020. Now, here's my stand when it comes to Libra. Because a lot of people, most people are hyped mm-hmm. when they when, when they oh, heard Facebook. about uh, Libra. Yeah. Talagang uh, excited sila. Pero here's the thing, alright? For your information, Libra token alright, is not a security token or investment token. Okay, there's a difference between security token utility token and stable token that's right okay and libra is actually a stable token okay all right ibig sabihin one is to one okay. that's equivalent to one token one dollar okay all right okay. now pag sinabi natin security token ito yung nagbabago nagba, nagpapalit tumataas yung value bumababa yung value na isang token okay. that's why it's called investment token mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right now in libra kasi ang ginawa niya di ba ang partner niya si mastercard Mm-hmm. Uh, also some partner niya si Coinbase, si That's Uber right. mm-hmm. and all these uh, major companies. Mm-hmm. Ang ginawa niya, uh, lahat tayo, we will create a wallet, a cryptocurrency called Libra so we could easily transfer our fund. Kahit ako nasa US, nasa Pilipinas ka, hindi na natin kailangan dumaan kay Bangko. You can use your token. There might be there gonna be a local exchange for that. Or, you buy Bitcoin, you convert that to Libra, pwede instantly, okay. pwede ka na magpadala kahit saan man. Okay. okay. Saan masa. Okay. Alright? But here's a question, is it a good investment? Yes. My answer is no. Because again, that's not an investment token. That's only a stable token. Alright? In fact, uh, there's a yung rumor, if you started to use Libra, you get tax. Mm. Tama ha? Okay. You'll be monitored by, of course, uh, BIR. Yeah. Tama, SEC, all these government things, mm-hmm. di ba? Kaya lang, syempre, most people are being hyped on that idea na, oh, tataas na naman si Bitcoin, Libra, magandang investment to. No, alright? It could help. Okay. Para ma-boost, magkaroon ng massive adoption sa cryptocurrency. Sa cryptocurrency. Yeah. yeah. Because Facebook has 2.5 billion users on a regular basis. Tama? Mm-hmm. And their revenue, alam ko magkano, that's almost 40 billion dollars per year. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, if they had a lot of users, maraming gumagamit ng Facebook on a regular basis, and they started to educate the users mm-hmm. of Facebook, what's really cryptocurrency all about, it could drive the price of Bitcoin itself. Oh, interesting. Alright? Pero does it mean na porket maganda, pasok ka na agad? Because that's, again, that's not an investment token. Okay. So, but merong balita, yeah. they're planning to launch an investment token right after that. Ah, Pero let's see what's okay. going to happen right after. So just to clarify, the price of uh, Libra coin, uh, if it's one dollar, once nilabas sa market, one dollar. That, that's, that's it, one dollar. Okay. I like if you buy Bitcoin, if the price increased like like next month from ten thousand to eleven thousand, mm-hmm. so ibig sabihin nagi increase yung value ng token na hawak mo. Okay. But in Libra, if you buy Libra. You're really converting your peso, 50 peso or 55 peso to one dollar. Okay. That's it. Okay. So at least you get to have an idea what is Libra. You have still have one year para pagkatapos pa ito. Of course, if you want to know more about cryptocurrency, uh, alam ko marami pa silang tanong what are the Sige, sige. Last last question. Okay. Um top 5 na cryptocurrency for you. Ah. Hirap, hirap <laughs> Ay, yung tanong mo. Top 5. No, uh, uh, I will top picks mo na lang for cryptocurrency. Alright, uh, personally, okay, sige. Let's say, pang ano lang, pang hold lang. Okay. Or we call it sa cryptocurrency. Long term, investment. Yes. Invest yes. 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 Okay. 
Now, itong muna yung disclaimer ko, ha? not because I told you na ito yung mahal ko, that may, which means ito rin yung bibili mo. Okay, okay. I, I suggest you do your own research para in the future, not gonna blame me or Floyd mm -hmm. for having this kind of obsession because, again, Pag-aralan yung muna. Oh. We've invested in crypto. Of course, part of that is spe speculation. That's right. There's no guarantee, even Bitcoin, if after 10 yeah. years, is Bitcoin was still Bitcoin, or baka Bitcoin hindi na siya Bitcoin that mm -hmm. time, baka may mas number one na sa kanya. So yes. we don't know. Yeah. Alright? Pero to go back to your question, what are the other tokens that I'm also uh, holding, part of my long-term uh, investment in crypto? Aside from Bitcoin, I also have Ethereum. Okay. Alright, Copolo, Ripple. Okay. I also have ADA or Cardano, okay. uh, for your information. Some, uh, Cardano, yeah, yeah. Dash. Mm -hmm. Alright, Dash. I'm also holding Dash. Okay. Alright, and I'm also holding this token called Monero. Mm -hmm. Alright? Okay. So, so those are some Monero. top five. And I'm not investing all my money on those tokens. Okay. Kasi aside from that, meron pang iba. In fact, that's more than 30 different tokens. Okay. Pero again, if you want to participate in these tokens, you buy, you want to invest in these tokens, you, you wouldn't want to put everything. Okay. Sabi nga natin kanina, 90-10 rule, proper allocation para in the future, if, if something goes wrong, kung nagkamali man tayo ng, ng uh, sabi natin something bad happens mm -hmm. in the market so at least hindi ganun kalaki yung nilagay mo risk because yes. risk manage, management is also part of that yeah All right? well ako just to add up with your answer Jonathan so sa amin of course I also support yeah I'm going to uh, ask yeah. you pala yeah. I, I, yeah. Have, I have uh, cryptocurrency right. yun din meron din akong bitcoin alright you have bitcoin ETH well yeah Ethereum, Ethereum. Ripple uh, ano pa ba yung isa um, well, I have two ICOs. Bitconnect? Well, no. no. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> two ICOs. So, but of course, yung idea ko naman, same with the idea right. of our um, CEO, si Mr. JJ Atencio. Right. Ang reason why we're holding it, we're holding lang talaga, is because we believe that it's the future. So, we're not expecting it na withdrawin namin yung whatever the value nung, nung hawak namin right. in the next five years. As, as in, we, we're looking at it on a long-term perspective. So, Kung hawak namin yan, good. Whatever happens, bumagsak. Umabot ng 1 million ulit, okay. that's very good. Bumagsak ng 3,000, that's very good. So we, actually, we we don't invest based on emotions. All right. We put our money because we believe it's the future. So, at least may holdings kami, mahawak kami. Whatever yeah, happens, right? hawak namin. So, of course, it can also be their way of, uh, kumbaga, how do, paano nila intindihin yung cryptocurrency market. That's our, that's my perspective. On your end, you hold, at the same time, you do some trading. So of course, kanya-kanya talaga yun ng, ng strategy. Ang ako masasabi ko lang, you should always have an exit strategy. Right. So sa akin, exit strategy, more than 10 years pa. Hawak lang talaga, hawak lang. Ah, since so, Floyd mentioned exit strategy, siguro dagdag ko na rin before we end this program, yung tinatawag na how to protect your funds. Yun. Because even though you have a good investment in cryptocurrency and you don't know how you're going to protect it, yes. eventually you might be prone in hackings. Yun. Kung sabi natin mga, let's say previously, di ba, kung, kung active ka sa, sa industry, like nagkaroon na hack when it comes to uh, this exchange, Binance o Binance. Mm -hmm. Yung Cryptopia, oh. ganun na yun. Nag Wala na, in fact. Oh. Alright, so part of what going to share on July 27 is how to protect your funds Yo. in cryptocurrency. Because that's a very important oh, topic. Sobrang. That's a very important thing that you must do. And you must know in order for you to protect your money in the cryptocurrency market. Kailangan may wallet ka. <laughs> Not only that, uh, aside from that. wallet, some uh, protections okay. that we'll be gonna discuss in the future. Na, we'll discuss that. I, right. I think, Bob, what's that? You'll be able to Part of that on July 27. Ayo. So, right. if you are here in Metro right. Manila, at kayo ay walang magawa sa July 27, <laughs> you want to learn more about right. um, how to make additional source of income right. through cryptocurrency, Mr. Jonathan Tenoco and his team yeah. will be part of right. the program. So, uh, you want to know more about this? You can ask him directly. So, right. meron din silang booth doon. No? Yeah, we'll be there. Ayun. Our team will be there. They'll be there. They have a, a, a pro, they'll be part of the program. They have a booth, of course. So, join us. No, Kung kayo po hindi pa nakakabili ng inyong tickets, just join our event. Uh, we'll be sharing the link in this uh, post itself. So, check yun na lang sa Psychic Conference. So, it'll be July 27. Kung kayo po ay outside Metro Manila, that's also okay. We're also going to release our online version for this event. no? So, even if you're outside Metro Manila, okay lang. Overseas, okay lang. You can watch us. You can join the, our program. You can ask questions to jo Jonathan and the rest of our speakers live via your computer, PC, whatever, desktop. no? So, you can join us. So, abangan nyo lang. We'll release it soon. Malapit na po yan.
Alright. So, again, sa ating mga ka-TGFI, Jonathan would like to say anything to our ka yeah, yeah, sige. So, first of all, again, I uh, would like to say thank you to TGFI and uh, Floy for having uh, us here, my team. And uh, on July 27, uh, tama si Floy, we're gonna share more, we're gonna learn more on that event. So, mm -hmm. we personally invite you to join us. Yes. Wala namang kayong gagawin if, if you want to learn more, not only cryptocurrency. I guess there might be a lot of speakers yes. then aside from me other, there. Other ways for them to make yes. money. So we personally yes. invite you to, to join our event. So if you also want to, to connect with us, we have our Facebook page. You can also like my Facebook page at Jonathan Tinoco slash Jonathan, sorry, facebook.com slash Jonathan Tinoco online. Also, we have our uh, social media uh, group, VIP group, or that's the Filipino Crypto Academy. Yon. For more info, of course, hindi na naman to isang araw lang na yes, aralan. So, yeah. It's a continuous process. And mm -hmm. we're here to share our time, to share our knowledge, experience to you guys para in the future, kung ano man yung mga maling ginawa namin way back then, hindi mo nagawin. Yon. So, we have community, of that's course. That's the more important Exactly. Part, TGF, uh, TGF, I also was there. So, mm -hmm. we're helping each other to educate you more, but to, to share with you. Ano yung mga experiences, learnings na pwede mo pa matutunan Yon. later on. So, importante dyan, may group ka. Merong kang core group to help you with this, uh, kumbaga, uh, cryptocurrency journey. Agree. Okay. Yan, di ba? So, you want to know more? Go to the comment section of this uh, post, our live for today. You can check Jonathan's page, you can check their group. So, lahat yan nandito. No? So, hanapin mo lang. So, again, if you have uh, questions, concerns, um, Jonathan Sim will be answering them one yeah. by one. So, abangan nyo lang po. So, any more that you want uh, to ask, join our event, July 27, yeah. sa Saigi Conference. Alright, mga ka -TGFI. again, once again, so, inapot na naman tayo ng mga, <laughs> tagal ba na ating talk? But of course, kasi uh, maganda yung topic. I agree. Eh. <laughs> It's trending, tama? Yes, yes. So, importante lang din na pinag-uusapan natin itong topic na to. So, at least, you guys join us. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, you will be having more TGFI lives in the future. Join lang if you want to join our actual events. We also have our actual events. Alright? So again, magandang araw sa ating mga ka-TGFI. Magandang gabi, magandang hapon, magandang umaga. See you next time. Bye! See you!